Let's try that. Hang on, fam. Let's try this. Hey, easy. Now, Cal, can you please put uh, UK Sea Fishing with Big Dan's link in the chat, please, mate? Welcome, everyone. All right. Nathan, how are you, bud? Welcome, everyone. Um, I think this should be okay. Um, let me just suss this out. I just need to put this somewhere where it's... Um, Excellent. Good work. Lovely. Welcome everyone. So this is the other side of the uh, channel that no one knows about yet. This is the gardening side. Now um, just let me get everything set up. Okay, so uh, with me, I'm, a, uh, I'm an old goat herder. So what you see grown here, this is a complete bed of sweet potato. Now there is no pesticides in here, no granular fertilizers and no um, herbicides. All right, this is all natural gardening. Uh, takes a lot longer to grow, but it is a lot better for you, you know? Thanks. Why would I want Optus Sport? Can you go away? Thank you. Go on. Hang on, fam. My channel there. Seven watching, excellent. Lovely. <laughs> oh, I haven't learned before. How you going, mate? Welcome, everyone. Ah, uh, yeah, that too. Although goats have more teeth than me, Dan. We all know this. Right, okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna keep this in the shade of the bin. That's good. All right, now people, please, as we always say, right, please don't forget to like the stream. Okay, now, let's do it. Now, when I um, looked up the fact sheet on sweet potatoes, right, the list of their benefits nutritionally are off the charts. So, here's one I prepared earlier. So check this out, man. Right, now, with sweet potato, they're easy to grow, okay? If you live in the city and you've got a little balcony, put a pot down on your little balcony. Oh, that's the phone, thanks for that. Right, put a pot down on the balcony and put a sweet potato in it because, believe it or not, the leaves, which are these, right, are just as good for you as the actual plant, okay? You can use them in salads, you can use them in stir fries, you can mix them as a filler, you know what I mean, instead of using um, cabbage and that sort of stuff. They make a beautiful meal with pork and other meats and that sort of stuff. Aussie Welsh, how are you mate? Now, in 124 gram serving of sweet potatoes, they're low GI, right? You get 108 calories, two grams of protein, three grams of fat, obviously that's not a fried sweet potato. You get 18.7 grams of carbohydrate, of which only 6.77 is sugar, and you do need a little bit of sugar in your system. You get 2.48 grams of fiber, 0.7 of a milligram of iron, 50.8 milligrams of calcium, 19.8 milligrams of magnesium, 50.8 milligrams of phosphorus, 259 milligrams of potassium, 306 milligrams of sodium. Now, selenium is something that they use to fight cancer with from memory, but don't quote me on that, 0.9 of a milligram. Vitamin C, 12.8 milligrams. Folate, 7.44. Choline, 14.4 milligrams. Vitamin A, RAE, whatever that means, 823 milligrams. You get oh, 9,470 MCGs of beta carotene. 5.1 mcgs of vitamin k and only 1.24 milligrams of cholesterol so as you can see um, that's why uh, sweet potatoes are a staple diet in so many countries now um, when i had my um, heart issues at the start of the year 
right straight after I got the uh, COVID jab, but we'll go into that another time, right? I'm not going to start a conspiracy theory live on stream. Okay. Um, my LDL, which is my bad cholesterol, I forgot that was in there, was three, okay? And it's meant to be a lot less than three, okay? And also my blood sugars for the three-month reading were 8.74. Four months later, I modified the diet. I started eating a lot more of these, literally straight off the plant, okay? But now remember, Fermo, there's no cure for that sort of stuff. There is no superfood that does everything, okay? Right, it's a combination of healthy eating, exercise, throw away your fry pan. So, about three and a half months later, my LDL went down to 1.3. It's meant to be lower than 2, which is in normal range. And my blood sugars went down to 5.9. So, I still haven't caught up with that Karen of a nurse anyway. Anthony Yasu, how are you, mate? Welcome to the stream. What's going on? You behaving yourself, Anthony? Good to see you here. Now, this is a vinca, which is from the neighbour. Now, what I'm doing today, right, is sweet potatoes don't really like the cold, okay? So what I've got to do is I've got to just um, dig up a couple of uh, plants here, right? Um, once I can remember where I put my shovel, but we'll get into that later. So what I do is I do all natural... Um, uh, I do all natural gardening, gardening, so what I'll do is, uh, now this is the type of berry here that's gone feral from the plant up the top, and with berries and that sort of stuff, remember, they'll run underground, so once you've got them, it's very hard to get rid of them. Ugh. Come here. And the good thing about Australia, okay, is you can grow everything, especially in Western Australia. I mean, in the northern parts of the state, you've got all the tropical fruit. Then in the uh, southern parts of the state where I am is a bit of a food bowl, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rake up the leaves, right? About the only stuff that I do use in here is a little bit of fish emulsion at the start and um, just a very small amount of blood and bone. Other than that, what I do too is at the uh, start of the season, what I'll do is all this grass here. Now, unfortunately, nowadays all the chemical companies try and teach you to get rid of the grasses and all that sort of stuff. Grass is one of the best sources of natural fertilizers out there. Okay. Hey there, Dillikins. How are you, bud? So um, what you do, rather than spray it and kill it, just turn it over back into your soil. It'll make beautiful fertiliser to grow this sort of stuff, right? Now, right, so what I'm going to do, right, is I'm going to figure out where the main, um, okay, so we've got one here, okay, where the main plants are. Right, this would make excellent mulch, but I don't have a mulcher. Right, and then what I'm going to do... I'm going to grab my hoe, okay? I've got a garden hoe that was made out of half a plough disc, and this thing can move some dirt, so let's get into it, okay? Now... I'm suspecting Big Dan's rocking backwards and forwards there, thinking of a bit of jokes. Right. So, let's have a look. Oh, what do we got here? This was a very small plant. Right, so I'm not expecting much. All right. So... What we've got here, okay, this is the sweet potato seed that I planted, right? So that's what was in the ground. There's a couple there that have started forming, but this plant sort of came up quite late in the season. I'm hoping to get some bigger ones out of these, right? So, 
Running aces, how are you, bud? Good to see you, mate. So, <laughs> yeah, cow, behave. Now, let's just um, rake these out. Because what'll happen is, we're just gonna start to get into our um, winter. And what I wanna do is I wanna just get all the leaves out of here uh, before the frost hit. Um, sweet potato don't like the cold. Once a frost comes through, it sort of tends to kill them. Okay, now, this is one that just pulled out of the ground. So what's happened is it snapped off at ground level, right? So that's what's happened with those. If I replanted that into the ground, cut these off here, right? That one would take, all right? They are pretty easy to grow like that. So let's have a go. Okay. <laughs> now, what I'm gonna do is, might go up and just grab a spade for a second, fam. Hang on. I had this um, uh, garden hoe built for me by the local mad Romanian blacksmith. What an experience that was. So, yeah, good fella. Uh, hope he's well. So, let me have a look. No, nah, this will be good. So, That'll be the one that we'll plant for next year. Okay, I'm just gonna chuck this back in here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna throw all the weeds and that sort of stuff in there. Right, this will um, this will sort of slow down for a few days. And then once it takes again, okay, then it'll start putting out fresh runners, alrighty. And uh, away we go, so. Let me just get this out of the way here. And to think I used to be able to swing that around like a toothpick when I had hair. Now, right, so we've got another one there. What are these doing? Let's have a look. There's another one here, nice. So I'm gonna put that there to market. We should have um, sweet potatoes under there. That's your microphone, Jim. Do not get back dirty or wet. Right. So, as you can see, and look, all the leaves that are left over, right on here, not worried about them, because what'll happen is I'll just plant them back into the soil and they'll turn into either fertiliser or, uh, that's a nasty one. Uh, yeah, turn back into fertiliser. And if we've got a little bit of a sweet potato attached, well, we'll have next year's sweet potatoes. But this um, garden bed uh, is reserved for the sweet potatoes because I eat so many of them. Right, and on top of that, I, um, I actually use the leaves, okay? <laughs> yes, Cal. Now, right. So, let's just give ourselves enough room to work here. Good. Okay. What's going on here? These were ones that I put in really late. The major sweet potatoes are the ones that are closest to you, so... <clears throat> hey! Bugger! Well, famo, we got to that one a little bit too late, didn't we? Right, so, what's happened is, um, I've actually harvested these too late, but as you can see, <laughs> That's a little bit of a belter. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna split that, turn that into seed for next year. Hopefully we get some out of here, okay? So, yeah, I didn't think we'd actually get anything out of here. So, let's have a look. Yep, beautiful. So what that is, right, 
Christopher, how are you, mate? Welcome to the stream. So what's happened is that sweet potato was joined to that, right? That was underneath the ground, and that was what was above the ground, okay? So uh, what I'll do, because I've got that fresh seed there, I'm just going to get rid of this one, because that's last year's seed, right? And then what will happen there is um, it'll just make room for new seed. So let me just dig up a bit more. But yeah, I have um, I have so many sweet potatoes. Oh, hey, hey, dinner, fam. All right, there's our first sweet potato of the season. So check that out, okay? Now the good thing about sweet potatoes out of the ground is when they're fresh, right? Look at that. I've just rubbed that skin off. That's going to go like marzipan. Okay, and that's going to be a very, very healthy meal for tonight. As you can see, because it's not grown with really um, highly concentrated chemical fertilizers, it's mainly flesh and the skin is quite thin. Okay, as you can see, you know, I just rubbed the skin off there, but I'll cook that tonight. Okay, all right. Rightio, so we managed to get one. Let me just see what's happening here. Right now, excuse me for a second. Right, what do we got here? Hey, um. All right, no, that one's split as well. That's okay. So what's happened is, Famo, with these ones, these have come through, okay, and they've already shot. So I'll get rid of these and I'll put that fresh seed in for this here. Right, now, let's have a look. Um, oh, there we go, fam. And this is something that I was going to show everyone at a later stage. This is a cheeky little um, spaghetti squash that the vine, a seed must have fallen in the garden because I use traditional um, seeds and not hybrids. That's grown of its own accord. This is a substitute for spaghetti and pasta. You cut it in half, you roast it. You get a fork and move it around and what you end up with is a beautiful natural spaghetti type uh, vegetable that has very low GI and nowhere nearly concentrated nutritional value as your normal pasta that you buy, if you know what I mean. So I put that away, right? Now, um, and in case you're wondering, yep. Okay, that's another one. So we got one there for seed, one for eating. We should have some better sweet potato in here because these plants are the oldest plants I've got in here. Those ones are ones that just sort of came up on their own late in the season. Okay? Now, let me just go and get a shovel and I'll be back in a second, okay? Thanks for the 13 people that are in here. Can I ask a favour? I don't ask for much, but can you please um, just like the stream, okay? And uh, I'll be back in a second. I'm just going to go and grab a shovel to dig out a few more things. Right here, now where did I put it? Oh no, it's alright, I'll use this one. Well, the other good thing about sweet potatoes, people, is you get a lot of return for minimum effort. Okay, I didn't even realise that one was in there. That's good seed for next year as well. Okay, so I'll show you the pile in a second. Mm. 
Right, now, don't be afraid to turn your soil over. That's a sweet potato from the season before. You can tell that is because it's, you know, rotted through and it's gone quite pale. Right, now, Right, so I just need to get this berry out of the ground here, fam. That's the thing with berries, once you've got them, it's very, very hard to get rid of them because they push their runners underground, you know? Right, so that's going in the bin. Now, Right, what I'm going to do is, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make all my mess first, right, then once I make all my mess, then I'm going to go through and just uh, figure out what I've got now, come on, right, we've got so much sweet potato here. <laughs> I've got a heap of sweet potato out the front, so I'm not worried about losing the leaves on these ones. That's all right. Good work. Put that in the bin. All of my electrical equipment gets a hard life. Don't know why. All right, so we've got one set of seeds here, another one there. Let me just get all these out. What I might do is even just, um, I might even just chuck the, uh, the, the plants that I've got up the top here and just let them rot down into this soil because um, as long as they don't take, they'll make quite good um, like soil conditioner. Just put everything back into your plants, man, and your soil, you know? Right, so that's all good there. Now, what do we got here? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna plonk these down here. I think that one weighs about three pound. Right, even though it's split, and that'll be where, with your sweet potato. Now, sweet potatoes aren't a yam, okay? A lot of people mistake them for yams, even though these are the purple ones. Sweet potatoes are a member of the Morning Glory family. And I think, pota is it potatoes and peppers uh, of the, the nightshade family? I can't remember, don't quote me on that. So everywhere you see these little bits of fibre coming out, that's where it will shoot. So if I cut that there, I'll have one coming out there, one coming out there, one coming out there, great. See these here, cut across there. So I'll get one, two, three. I'll probably get four good seeds out of that. Actually, I could probably eat the top half of that quite easily. See how nice and um, uh, ivory colored it is? And that's as, that's as hard as a rock. It's not soft like the ones that you see in the shops, you know? So. Hello, Mayhem. How are you, mate? Welcome. Oh, they are. These are the, um, you know, and the reason why they're not overly big and, you know, uniform, I mean, when they grow sweet potatoes commercially, what they'll do is they'll, um, they'll build a mound like that, and then what they do, see these little runners here? Right, what they'll do is they'll cut it there, right, like that. They'll cut it there like that and then they'll cut it there like that, okay? So they put a runner each on the side, put one on the top, and then these will take and put out more sweet potatoes, fam. They're quite hardy, the old sweet potato. Right, now, now like I said to you, I've got no really tough, you know, chemicals in here or anything like that. It takes a lot longer to grow, but 
you know what I mean? It's much better for you. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, that's one. That's one that grew on top of the ground, famo. Check this out. Right. So what it is, that's, that's one that grew on top of the ground. It's rotted because it's been exposed out of the ground and that, but that's okay. Right, and there's some more little ones. That's all right. I'm sure that I'll have plenty of sweet potatoes in there for seed and for eating. Now, the other good thing is, man, right, sweet potatoes make great presents, believe it or not. Here's another one. Right, there's another one that's rotted. Okay, so what's happened is this one's grown above the ground and it's just been rotted from the water and all that sort of stuff and weevils and that sort of stuff have gotten into it, but that's all right. We'll just chuck that in there. Right, now. Okay, beautiful. So, right, these got pushed to the top. Here we go, fam. Lovely. Yeah. Okay. So these are ones that actually aren't from the original seed, right? So um, this is just a little pot of seeds there. Okay, so we've got four. Um, you could wash these, right? I could take them then there now, wash them, get all the dirt off them, okay? And like I said here, because you've, they're grown without any... Um, concentrated fertilizers they don't have very thick skins okay and then yeah i mean i could take them into the sink now wash them clean them up and all the rest of the stuff and then put them in the oven and bake them and they'd be ready to go all right so hey smythe how are you mate i a uh, grow i'm the champ at growing pipetki all right don't start the competition yet i grow heaps and heaps of pipetki mate so Next year, the pipetki. Yeah, what I'm gonna do, people, is I'm gonna show you how to prepare a garden in the winter like this. Right, so see all this stuff here, right? Don't spray this, alrighty, and take it away. That's the best thing for your soil, especially zdravo, dobro den, bratko, dobro den. Right, so what you do with this stuff here, look, it's as simple as this, watch. You grab the shovel, right, like that and it becomes fertilizer after a few months, okay? So. Now, where am I gonna hit this? All right, see, this is an invasive plant from my neighbor that I'm gonna to have to give a present a bit later, I think. Yeah. Now. <clears throat> Don't hit the shed. <sighs> Bugger, that one's gone a bit deeper, famo. Oh, so. A little bit late with this one, <laughs> right? A little bit late, but that's all right. In it goes. Now, where did that go? Watch the shed. <clears throat> Come on. Nishka. Why is that? What I do is after I dig everything up, I level it off, all off, okay? So, I need to go through and redo the levels here anyway. I just had to come in and do this today first. Right, okay. So, that's another one that's been pushed out of the ground. You grow August. Um, Linus, with... Uh, with the fruit and veg in your garden, it's a direct uh, reflection of the healthiest soil. 
So the better your soil is, the better your garden will grow. And obviously, you know, some plants don't like wet feet, other plants don't mind it, but I'll explain that as we go through the season. You know, so. Right. Yeah, I've been growing sweet potatoes on and off for about 20 years, and just the nutritional value of them is great. The other thing is too, you know, up to $8 a kilo in the shops. You know what I mean? Oh, you grow August. Um, yeah, we put, we put our um, pipetki seed. Pipetki is another name for the Hungarian sweet capsicums that the Macedonians grow. Uh, most of them brought the seed over in their socks on the old on the boat from the old country, you know. Um, we usually put ours in July, the seed. Sometimes June, it just depends on the season, you know. But if there's any frost around, anything that you put in early, the frost just kills it. Oh. So, okay. Come on. These have grown that well, they've pushed the sweet potato out of the ground, the original seeds. So, we should get a few out of this, fam. I've already got people that have lined up for the sweet potatoes anyway. So we'll just see how it goes. Right. I need to dig that out too, but I'll do that another day. Right, let's go in here. This, I'm thinking about getting a mulcher. Normally what I do is just chop them up with a sharp spade, but sweet potato mulch is great, famo. A lot of it takes again, but uh, all right. It's one of the seeds. Right, now. All right, yeah, come on, mate. Yep. <laughs> I forgot I had the wire in there. Right. Now, let me just have a look. We're going to have to dig up all of this because they could have gone through. There's that plant from next door again. Look at this thing. Seriously. Uh, what's your... um? Favourite variety to grow? Smithy. Do you like the pipetki? Do you like the chushki or what? I've got my hands on some ghost um, chili seed. They make an excellent pesticide. Right. Um, so, now. <sighs> Let's get all this out of here and then we can start digging. There's another one that got pushed out of the grand famo, but I've got enough sweet potato there to give away a few as presents. And then um, what I'll do is the rest. We'll use the seed and obviously eat some. Might do a catch and cook. What do you mean catch and cook? I might do paddock to plate with the sweet potatoes. So let's eat now. As you can see, uh, you get a lot of material out of them, which is really good. You got sandy soils, right? Um, if you got sandy soils, don't be afraid to, um, like I said, run your sweet potato vines and that. Make sure there's no weeds in them though through a um, uh, mulcher, okay? Let it sort of mulch down for a couple of weeks and then put it back over your soil and plough it in. And it's very, very good for building up your soil, you know? Right, there's one there at my feet. No, that's a vine. So, now. Ah, let's get the last plant out here. Ah, great. Right, nice.
you see some very, very funny um, shapes from sweet potatoes, Famo, when they come out of the ground. Some of them, as <laughs> Cal has already alluded to, um, yeah, let's just say it leaves a few things to the imagination, you know? So, all right. Now, what do we got here? Oh, that's a big one. Oh, God. Oh, that's... Yep. There you go, famo. That's one that I should have picked earlier. But that's all right. Okay, let's see what we've got. Now. All right, beautiful. There you go. There we see, fam. Nice size there. That one will take that off. We'll be able to eat the rest of that. It's broken off another one. All right, so uh, I, uh, <laughs> uh, it's a rare art to be able to do that with a straight face. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I think Star Wars just knocked on the front door and said, can we have that back? It looks like something out of one of our movies. Right. That's semi. What's in here? Okay. Okay. Right, so there's a seed pod here. How'd you get there? All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the ones that we're sort of cultivating here. Hang on, give me that. I wish normal plants in the garden grew as well as weeds, you know? So, hi Rose, how you going? Yes, they, <laughs> yes, they are mayhem. They certainly are. There you go, we'll make a little swan. You ready? There we go. We'll make a little swan. There we are, beautiful. Okay, we'll make a little swan, there we are. Lovely, okay. You happy now? Such naughty minds. Okay. There we go fam, beautiful. Sweet potato swan, all right? The Loch Ness potato, there we are. You happy with that? All right, there we go, beautiful. Now. <laughs> Hopefully that distracts them enough to get them to stay focused. All right, now, um, let's see what's in here. Oh no, I just, no, no, that's right, that's semi. If you're wondering what semi means, that's uh, the Macedonian word for seed. Right, now that goes back in there. You can't substitute hard work in the garden, Femo. Right. Now, we had one of the supports, yep, we had one of the supports that fell down, so before the summer, no, that was an edible one, damn it, I just chopped out a big one, fam, but that's all right, I can use that as seed. <laughs> Are you really? Don't rub it in, mate, I'm on a diet, I've lost 40 pounds. <sighs> Everyone keeps talking about food, you know? Ah. <sighs> 
Viennic, all that sort of stuff, you know. Those wicked shortbreads that mum makes that I have dreams about. Oh yeah. Oh cow, 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 cow. Now people, let me show you a little uh, tip on how to use a shovel in the garden. Whenever you work with a shovel in the garden, always work in a straight line, okay? So see here, pick it up, throw it that way. When people do injuries is when they try and turn and pivot, and then they've got a weight on the end of this, and they'll overstretch, all right? So even if I want to throw dirt this way, I work towards my target, see? Right, everything's straight. Never hit the shovel into the ground, then try and twist, because if you've got hold of the shovel and that keeps going, your back will go like that, okay? Right, now, ah, no more talk about food, okay? Uh, right, so uh, now what I've got to do is most of the sweet potatoes, right, are in here, okay? Most of the sweet potatoes are in here, all right? So, did the Certainly is. This is the best colour shovel there is, Mayhem. It was the one on special that was a third of the price of the others. Best colour, you know what I mean? I don't worry about colour, I just look at price. Okay? So. And the thing is too, because everything's made on the cheap nowadays, all that's going to happen is it's going to die anyway. So it's better to lose, what was it, $2.20 than, you know. Rightio, now. We just had some paving done here. <laughs> um, I just had some paving done here. So with the paving... Obviously, I've got to shift a lot of dirt, but we'll do some of that later. Now, what have we got here? Right, so, this is all the sweet potato roots that came out of the top of the plant, right? So, uh... Oh yeah, but cow, who cares, mate? You know, it's a shovel for God's sake. This thing's designed to move um, dirt. Who cares what it looks like? I don't care. Right, yeah. Okay. So, what have we got here? Ah, oh, bugger. Too big. Oh no, that one's all right. I should have dug these out sooner, but I didn't know what had happened with them, see? Right, now, okay. Um, <laughs> all right, so there's our first lot. Oh, don't do that, don't do that. Come on, hey. Ah. Okay, that's all right. I'll bring that up later.
Right, let's have a look. Okay, so there's another one that got out of hand, fam. All right, I should have put, that's only about two or three weeks out. Oh, okay, Rose. Yeah, that's exactly right, Rose, you tell them. It's a bit of an embarrassment because I should have done these a bit sooner, fam. I didn't think these were quite ready yet and I didn't see any visible flowers on them. Normally with the sweet potatoes, they get these little flowers on them and then you know that they're ready to go. I saw a couple, but I thought, oh, it might have been an odd season or something, you know? So, now, what have we got here? Right. All right. There's a good one that's ready for eating there, see? I haven't really got that many seeds in here, people. It's just that because they take a lot longer to grow. All right. And look, if you've got problems with your soil, like going dry and that sort of stuff, one of the best things you can do, right, is just buy yourself some kitty litter. You know what I mean? Just the cheap stuff that's biodegradable. Throw it over the top of your soil that doesn't stay um, moist that easily. And then just, you know, turn it over like this, like you do with the weeds, right? Water it and the kitty litter, once the water hits it, will absorb it and then it just breaks back down into the soil anyway. You know? Look, what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to get uh, the industrial hoe out again, right? And uh, then what I'll do is I'll just start moving some dirt with this, right? So in case you're wondering, uh, this is half a plough disc. So that's a normal plough disc on a tractor, right? They welded it with two inch uh, galve pipe and then he had to reinforce the head because I bent the handle on it when I was doing my Bubba's garden. So, let's get some work done. <coughs> no, <coughs> Nistral. <coughs> yeah, these are some of the um, crystals that I've put in there a long time ago that are still breaking down for them, you know? Right, what have we got here? And the good thing about this is, okay, it turns your soil over. A lot of the old Southern European gardeners, what they do is they dig their soil down about that far, then flip it over. They used to think that if they did that, the um, fertilizer that was down the bottom would come to the top of the plant. And uh, I mean, good exercise either way. Right, now, let me go back to my, uh, goat herd origins and I don't have any sheep skins for feet so I'm just gonna have bare feet right now this is good so what I've got here all this dry soil that's underneath I'm gonna turn it over then what I'm gonna do is redo the levels on this whole area to get it ready for the spring and then I'm gonna get some more pine boards in here. I'm gonna build up the garden bed a little bit higher so that um, if you've got problems with uh, your ground being waterlogged, just put up a little wooden wall next to it like this and raise your garden bed and it'll drain out and remove the issue with your um, garden being waterlogged, okay? So, <coughs> what do we got here? All right, nice little one. So, okay, that's another one that's, there you go. This is a cross between the mushroom, and oh, that joke nearly worked. Mushroom and a sweet potato. That'll be, okay, mayhem.
Oh, Jimbo. That one's an edible one, mate. What are you doing? Oh, here we go. Bugger. Okay. They're too small for seed. Ideally, you'd probably want to use a pitchfork, but I don't have one. Nice and healthy there. And there. Right. Now, what have we got here? Now see how the soil on this side has got more moisture in it. Right, that's because of the little mound that was there. This is level, right? So it's less susceptible to draining. But what I'm gonna do is, for next year's um, sweet potato crop, what I'm gonna do is, like I said, I'm gonna reinforce all of this. And what I wanna do is reduce the width of the garden bed to about here and just make it a little bit higher. And then that way I can grow um, a lot more stuff in here. Because one thing you can do with sweet potatoes, like next year I'm gonna seed the sweet potatoes at the back of the garden. Then I'll have um, some nice tomato plants in the middle and I'll put all my um, like hot chilies and that sort of stuff closer to the front. And then what I want to happen is I want the sweet potato to grow through all the tomatoes and all the chilies. So it provides a ground cover, then as well as providing a ground cover, what it will do is it will actually have a little sort of subclimate underneath it where it will keep all the moisture in. So basically it's like living mulch, okay? And the good thing about that is when your chilies die off and then your tomatoes are finished, right? You know, if um, I was to plant that sweet potato there, and then the runner came through here and I dug it out a bit and put a little mound in there, it had put out more, okay? So then what you've got is you've got all your sweet potatoes throughout all your soil as well, okay? So that way you save yourself a lot of money and these will last, you know? Okay, H4 pine treated sleepers, 23 bucks for three metres. Now, I'm aware of that, Stephen, but I don't like using treated pine in a garden because the soil contacts that, bud. Right, so what I'll do is I'll probably use limestone. Okay, and then, you know, because uh, the place where they treat a lot of that pine is down south. Wow, that's a big one. All right, fam. So, I wish I'd have picked that sooner. There's another big one that's come in. That'll be a good seed, okay, for next year. Right. Yeah, so I'll prefer to use the... Um, Rightio, that's a good seed for next year. See that one? It's already got the things on it there. Right. And even with this, if I cut that out right in there, if I cut that out in there, right, and then I just use the old garden hoe there, right. Okay. Um, that'll be a good seed for next year. It's already got the little runners, and what'll happen is that'll stay in the ground and when the conditions are right, it'll shoot, okay? But um, what I'll do is I'll just quickly run off and wash this under the tap. I'll show you how nice and white this flesh is out of the ground. So see that? Look how nice and that's almost pearl in colour, see? Look. Right, check that out. All right, that's, uh, yeah, like I said, there's no heavy fertilisers in this garden, fam. I refuse to use them. <sighs> right. Now, where's that shovel? Hang on, people, I'll just... 
Yeah, I think I missed the boat with the sweet potatoes this year, but we're not far off. Ah, here's some. Hey, hello. There we go, fam. These ones, um, these ones I can cook tonight if I want to, see? And if there's any Macedonians out there, I think va planta y mashko. All right, you understand what I'm talking about. So, we'll just chuck them down there. All right, what have we got here? Oh, that's a rotten one, we don't want that. There we go, famo. Now that one there, see that one there? That's a beautiful seed for next year. That's already got the roots on it already. See how it's already put out the little uh, leaf there? I'll plonk that in the ground like that over the next couple of days, right? And look, when you take them out of the ground, just cover them with dirt again so they don't dry out. And that'll be one that I'll plant here for next year. All right, we've got plenty of seed for next year. So, yeah. Actually, that's the big one there, Steve, from before. That's the big one from there, from before, see? So, oh, right, now. So, yeah, none of this is scripted, fam. This is just what we do here, you know? So, um, yeah. I haven't put this thing going on, I need to get the right angle for um, YouTube and that sort of stuff. This is just our garden, this is how we do things. So see this one here? That's another perfect one for seed as well. See how it's already put out the little purple leaves? Right, that'll go into the ground like that and we'll get a beautiful set of plants next year from this, okay? So I'm just gonna plonk that over here, like that. That's another one there. Yep. Steve, seriously, man, if you live in Perth, you can grow sweet potato, you can grow um, pawpaw, you can grow everything, mate. Right. And by right, you probably shouldn't really have to buy it, you know? Because um, if you've got a little bit of dirt in your garden, just throw in a sweet potato, man. Right, that's another little seed there. Now, what have we got here? Right. That's another good one for seed. Okay, I think Star Wars want their uh, stage prop back. Okay, so. All right, and here's another one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that one's split, so. Oh, hang on. That one hasn't. Hello. There you go, famo. And look, these, hard as a rock. Not like the stuff. Hear that? Come in. All right, so this is all grown naturally. Like I said, no heavy sprays or fertilizers or anything. All right, you don't need them, famo. Just, and even, even like for example, you know, with here, right? If I was gonna get this ready for planting, what I'd do is I'd hit that with a shovel like that, right? I'd chop up all the leaves and all that sort of stuff. Do that like that. Turn it over, you got rid of the weeds. The weeds have been turned into fertilizer. You're ready to go for next season. It's as simple as that. Just gotta get your, you know, put your back into it, fam. All right? So you don't need to go out and spend, you know, take for example, potato E. I think potato E is S2, is it 06 or 04? Basically, it's a basal fertilizer, but when you mix it with water, it makes a very weak sulfuric acid. Then the stuff grows in that and you eat that fam. Don't do that. Look after your health, you know? All right? <laughs> and they don't, they don't tell you this because they want you to spend money on chemicals. And look, the reason why I grow the hot chilies is I'll get the rotten hot chilies I boil them in a pot till they go down to a certain colour. And then what I do is I mix it with molasses and honey and I put it over different parts of the garden and all the insects get attracted to it. They hit it and then the chilli kills them. You can put in horseradish, you can put in garlic, whatever you want, famo. It makes a beautiful pesticide, you know? Right. Right, now what have we got here? Come on, hey, 
There you go. Now, this one is the best seed of the lot today. So we've already got the tap root here, right? We've already got a few little leaves that have come out. All right, so what I'll do is I'll plant that close to the wall. I've got like a limestone wall here. If I plant this closer to the wall, hopefully the heat from the wall will keep the frost off it at night. Right, and um, yeah, that'll turn into a beautiful plant. All right, as a rule of thumb, people say um, don't eat them once they've shot, but I'll, I'll keep that for a nice seed for next year. I could probably even plant it today, fam. We'll see how we go, eh? Right, so. Oh, it is, Steve. You know, it's a really easy, natural way. But the thing is, right, you know, unfortunately nowadays with society, everybody's got to chase a dollar, you know. You can't even afford to buy a house nowadays from scratch. Right. And um, you've got to do what you've got to do to keep the bank manager happy, you know. So if that means you just buy everything and spray it out, you do that. But, you know, gardening's a great way to keep fit and get fit. Okay. Thanks, Rose. Have a lovely day, mate. Thanks for coming in. Don't forget to leave a like on this um, live stream and also subscribe if you haven't already, Rose. It just sends YouTube a message that we're doing something good. You know what? Uh, and Steve, if you're late to the stream, Steve, this is the garden hoe that I had made by the mad Romanian blacksmith. Right, so that's half a plow disc, a two inch handle, or one and three quarter, or oh, probably one and three quarter. Right, and you had to reinforce the head because I bent it. Right, you know what, let's get this ready today. Let's not muck around. Um, right, okay. Let me put the phone down because I'm gonna move some, uh, I'm gonna move some uh, dirt now. Right, okay. Okay, so that's the sleeper. I really don't want to give that a hard time. It's already had enough of a hard time. Right, I can do this today, actually. This will only take half an hour, I think, fam, so let's do it. Oh, no. Let's get this in here. What on earth is that? That is a paving brick. Yay me. Right. Um, yeah, it does the job, Steve. Once upon a time, I used to be able to swing this like a toothpick, mate. But, uh, you know, I had more hair then. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to bring this over here. Hey, found another one. Cheeky bugger. Hey. So look, with this sweet potato, that bit's rotten, but that bit's okay. Right, just snap it off there and use that for seed fam. It'd be great. Okay. It's a little bit too um, fibrous to eat, but that'll be a beautiful seed. Okay. Right there. Right. Now. Normally what I do too is I, um, uh, what do you call it? I'll chop the sweet potato straight back into the soil. But we'll just sort this out. So what I want to do is I want to bring the soil away from this edge, right, and bring it more to the middle, which we'll sort out in a minute. Okay. Now, let's have a look. Um, leave that there. Ah, oh, hang on, I haven't dug this one yet. Ah. Oh, 
nothing there. Okay. Now, let's just get this in here. Come on. Yep. More sweet potato. Beautiful. Yeah, I, my favourite sweet potato is the purple one with the white inside. I don't like the orange one. Okay. Whew. Now. I've poisoned this plant so many times and it just comes back stronger and stronger, you know? Right. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'll just put these up on the next level and I'll start digging everything. So as you can see, people, this is about one third of what we got today. Right? So that's, all the um, edible stuff there. Right, now with this um, ones that I'm gonna plant today, I'm not even gonna bother putting fertilizer in the ground. I'm just gonna turn everything over. Right, and then that should be all right. Now, let's get rid of the sweet potato swan. Yeah, that's one of the first ones that we picked today. I'm gonna to cook that for dinner. That's perfect. All right. And the other thing is, two people, with your sweet potatoes, if you leave them in the ground, when they're ready to germinate, they'll germinate off their own back. You know? Right. Now, what have we got here? And what bit me then? Right, let's chuck it in here. Right, at least I found my edge. <sighs> okay, that's all right. I found the old sleeper that um, held most of everything up. So let me just get that out of here. Um, is that oh, kids toy of some sort all right so I need to get some more in there oh there you go Jim just knock it over hey beautiful another seed <laughs> Man's the inculpable. Excellent. <laughs> the dynamic duo. I was going to say, say something else.
Right. Now. Okay, so. Um, yeah, I can do this. I can do this quite easily. And what I'll do is I'll leave myself enough room to um, put the limestone retainer in. So, let me just get rid of this governor. Get out of there. Um, that's actually not too bad. This I can sort out later. There's no point throwing all this dirt up into here when it's only going to get washed down again, you know? So let me just do... What's that? That's one of the other sleepers that went rotten. You're not much good in there, pal. And if you're wondering why this shovel is cutting through the dirt so easily, all of my shovels have got edges on them like a knife that I do with the angle grinder. This one's a little bit blunt, right? But um, if you grind with a bevel this way, um, it just slices through most dirt quite easily, you know? Okay. Brent Grocott, how are you, mate? Welcome to the stream, bud. All right. Now, actually, Growcott would be a great name for a gardening channel. Wouldn't it, Brent? You should get into it, mate. Right. Now. And in case you're wondering, fam, I only wear Swan Dry shirts. I've got about 20 of them now. Oh, whoops. This is one of me going out ones. So, um, yeah, I love them. You can stay cool in summer, warm in winter. Very durable. I've put them through some absolute torture, and they're still going. Right, we'll do a stream on a retaining wall later. Now, let's get this little bugger level. Um, what do I need to do here? Probably need to bring this down here, like this. Okay, let's bring that down here like this, out of the sun. Let's go like that. All right. Okay, now. So, so what we're going to do now, fam? Right. It's going to chuck that down there. Right. I've got a few um, weeds in here, like just a bit of winter grass. I'm just going to chop that up, right, and put it straight back into the soil. Right. Like that. Right, so, rather than uh, muck around and turn it over, 
I've just got to shift some of this dirt across that I um, uh, just dug up before. Right, and then what I'll do when, um, what I'll do when I put the retaining wall in along here, I'll just chuck it all back over again, okay? <laughs> Actually, funny you mentioned that, bait. Um, some of the best gardens I've ever grown have been on fish carcasses for fertiliser. I grew potatoes one year, right? This is pre-sweet potato days. We'd been out in the boat in the Southern Ocean and all the carcasses are lined up in the middle of a row like this. So I did a carcass, then I covered it in dirt, did a line of um, blood and bone, covered it with dirt, put a potato every four inches along the mound that I made and the mound ended up this high. I grew potatoes that would have spilled over here, fam. I had um, Delawares that were like little footballs out of it and sweet tasting spuds, they were great, you know. So, now, and look, don't panic with the bare feet. Got to remember I'm a goat herder. All right, so, yeah. Get out of here. Get away from that sleeper. So what I'm doing, right, is I'm covering the um, weeds that I just chopped up. And because this can move so much dirt, right? Oh, that's good. Um, come on, out you come. No, 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 we don't want you in this garden bed. Hey Jack, how you going? Yeah mate, I've just dug up the uh, sweet potatoes, Jack. So, just getting everything leveled out and I've had to dig that out because I've got to put a retaining wall in, but I'll sort that out later. Right, now, hang on. Hey Jack, if you want to do a workout for your arms and back, mate, go and get a job with a landscaper. That'll sort you out. Right. It's not too bad, actually. That can't be used as seed. Mate, you want to build muscles? Go and push grano and go and push mud for a bricklayer, mate. All right? That'll sort you out straight away. Six months, you'll come back like the rock. 
and you won't have to pay gym membership. <laughs> right. Now. Well, I'll be buggered. There's one that's already seated for next year, famo. Woohoo! That'll be going in right now. Yeah, what I'm going to do is work away from this edge. Rightio, so I've changed the level of the garden bed. Tell us Sunday afternoon in Australia when you hear the old Victor lawnmower going. Although, that's a Honda. Annual clean out. Oh, well done, mate. It's a good feeling, isn't it, mate? Hey? Now. Oh, what's that? Uh. Whoo! Yeah! Right. So. What we've done is level the garden bed out. Pick the sweet potatoes. Now. Let's plant some for next year. One. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That'll get us plenty. Now, what do we got here? Let's have a look. So, late afternoon sun, I'm going to put my best seed here. Like this. Right. I'm not putting any fertilizer in the ground or anything like that. DJ, what's going on? Yeah, but if you're gonna do that, Jack, do it for your fitness, buddy. Righty -o. So one, uh, second best one in here, because this has got the sec. See what it is? We've got a shed there, right? We've got a shed there, which will block out the sunlight in the afternoon. So the first nine will grow really well. They'll come in later, okay? Good work. Now, where are the others? Oh yeah. This one's ready to rock. This is beautiful, look at this. 
So the route goes down there, and that comes in there. Make sure the sweet potato's covered there. Lovely. That'll take once the moisture gets back in the ground. Let's have a look. Good bits of seed here. The other thing is too, where you've got more shade, it's cooler, so they don't grow as quick. Hey Charlie, how are you? Sweet potatoes, DJ. I'll let a few of them get away from me though, you know. <laughs> i got a few here. That's one of the bigger edible ones that we grew, mate. Okay, so yeah, see? Beautiful. That'll do nicely. And what I've done is I've turned all the grasses over into the soil. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into mulch and then I'm going to cover all of this with sweet potato. Then that way that'll just break down into the soil. One more for seed, eh? Uh, let's put this big bugger in here for seed. All right, there we go. So, we did well, fam. Look at that. I've got a mountain of work still to do here, but that's okay. All right, people, thank you very, very much for tuning in. I really appreciate the fact that we had so many people in watching today. Thank you very, very much for giving up your time. The hell's that? To watch the stream. Okay, and uh, yeah, so hopefully we'll do some fishing in a couple of days. There's so much weed on the beaches at the moment, won't be able to get anything in, okay? So yeah, thank you very much for tuning in. We've managed to level out our garden. We've dug out all the sweet potato, just with a bit of hard work, okay? And uh, yeah, that's about it. And what I'll do is I'll um, show you how I turn those sweet potato runners and leaves into uh, like a mulch for the top of it. I think I might get a little mulcher. That might work out pretty well. All right, fam. Stay safe, stay well, bye for now. Thanks for tuning in. Tell everyone about the stream. And don't forget to like, okay? Bye-bye.